Hey, I'm Daryl. And I'm Kim. We're some days here. Today, we're going to figure out and solve our problem in the boat. It's also a work with an RV of how to get some furniture for your RV or for your boat. So come on back. We think we found a solution that works for us. guys this came from home reserve that's right we were looking online for different places to buy stuff shopped all over the town couldn't find anything that either fit through the companion way or an RV door or fit the space that we needed we found a few things but it just wasn't us so we came across this home reserve uh, a company that sells furniture in sections so what we have here We've already put this together. You have a chair, a corner. sectional corner piece, and another chair, and then we have an ottoman right here. Okay? And everything's got storage in it. So, yeah, everything under there, storage. You got a good selection of colors. Yeah. It's pretty well built and it's comfortable. It really is comfortable. So, here's what we're going to do we're going to go through this and put this together. I'm going to jump around. It takes us uh, probably. I'm reckoning about half an hour to put this one chair together. So what, now we're doing now. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to jump in and out, and give you the highlights of where everything's at, and kind of show you how to put one of these together. It's not rocking science. You got any common sense, you'll be able to handle it. All right. So when you open this up, it's going to have everything in there. The instructions are in with the fabric. That's the orange, huh? We had that before. Some foam, a bag with all the material, uh, material and instructions, and then in here will be a bag full of hardware, and there's going to be a whole bunch of these. And what these are, these get put together. And then some screws go in here to, to hold together. And they're all numbered. Like this one has the number five on it. So the directions show you how to put all this together pretty easy. Now this is just kind of particle board, chip plywood if you want to call it, however you want to call it in your area. But it's pretty good. Now if I was keeping this full time uh, for years, I may come back and it may seal all this to help keep some of the weather and the humidity out. But this is going to be inside and I think we'll be just fine. It'll probably outlive us. One. So you pull all the pieces out One, two, so you know what to shake them out. Each one of these have different amounts of pieces. Depends if you get a chair with an arm. I believe this time we got an arm with ours. Yes, we got arms. Well, it's like a boot. It's like Louisiana. <laughs> All right, this chair it came with three bags, so I'm assuming these arm pads you got one bag for for your side arms, and then you've got the bag to put the chair together itself. So here we go. Let's get the instructions out. This is one. This is called a Griffin chair. Now the color that Kim picked out was Oscar Sterling. She liked that color, but it goes by step by step. Of the instructions of how to put all the pieces together. So here we go. Parts look like this. You got a square piece with a two on it. That's got four things, and then you got a, a three, four, and a five, and a one. One's got these two things here. Right here. There's there's a one. Now you need a three, four, and a five, and a two. These right here go on the bottom of the chair. This is actually the part that comes in contact with your floor. And they just pop right on. 
It's even place for a couple of screws if you want to put screws in it. See this little black T looking thing? It just goes right into this slot right here. Some of them are a little tight. And then when you put the screw in, it screws it together. Instead of just screwing into plywood or particle board that you know won't last, you screw into this plastic on the other side. And that, with this T, won't let it pop back out. Alright, now, go back to the instructions and see where we're at. All right, so what we got here, here's the base. This is what these other two chairs look like before you put the, the uh, cushions on and the, the bottom uh, storage compartment top. So it is, you put it all together, you just screw it in into these T's, these plastic T's, and that's what holds it together. So it's not too bad. It's pretty rigid. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the other arm together and then we're going to come back. Okay, so here we are. We got the bases put together. So you're going to have one piece that looks like this. And this is basically your chair frame. Okay, and then you've got two of these. One will be on either side. And that'll be your arms. So now we're going to go and put on the foam and the covers on everything. You start first by putting this little pad on the back. Got a little, it's kind of like a little padding that your material will go over. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. Let me show you. See, this is a zipper that comes in. It comes in sewn, fully zipped. So in front of the zipper, you've got to take it and break it apart. I know it just feels weird doing it. But that's how you got to do is get the zipper undone. Weird. And this is the base cushion right here. Oh, that's the thing that slipped over the back. Here's something. What this is, is this? an arm. This is the front frame cover. This is this it. This is the arm. Front frame. All right, here Let's we go. Arms. This is it. That's that. Okay. Now they're saying, take the top rail and place it push down. It. Take two, so you take the frame front cover as shown above, put the 13 in it. There's the 13 over there. Hold it up here so they can show them. So this is basically the, the stiffener for the back part of it. It's already sewed up where this will go in. And you got to be kind of careful with this because with these little slivers on this, it's got to go in kind of easy. Got it? So it goes on like that. Pull it over the outside, square it up with your joints, make your seams look good. There's your back cover. Tag goes in the front, long side goes in the back. Now, we're going to lay it like this. Well, that way or the then other way. we're going to tuck it in like this. Huh? Is this the way? Or it was a square to me. I guess you fold up the other ends. Square the corners. Okay. says, find the square corner of the arm cover and the square corner of the arm foam. Okay. 
I would say this is a square. That ain't it. How about this? This is all pleated and fancy looking. This is square corner maybe. Okay. Pleated it. Where's my little ball? <laughs> Poor Francis. My mom, you almost, my mom, you almost took me out. Stop, <laughs> Stop being a goober. All right. We don't talk like our dogs. <laughs> uh, you gonna help, Princess? The best little helper in the world, Princess P. Oh, Fix the going plane ride. All right, so you get it over the top, Which and you're going to have to mess with it. So remember to put this piece on. This big long piece goes on the back first, and then you put it into a box. And you got to work it over these corners. It's going to be a little bit tight, but they want it tight. These holes need to line up because this is how you're going to attach it to the chair. We'll show you that upcoming. And then underneath it's got Velcro. This is how you pull all the slack out. And get this, you can get as tight as you want. It just basically keeps it there. You got Velcro on both ends, buttons it up. So that's one. Hmm. Now let's see if we can do the other one. The square corner goes towards the inside. Well you had a 50-50 chance, so. Hmm. This makes no sense. No, it no. doesn't. I can worry about it. I'm going to do just like that <laughs> and roll with it. Here's the bottom. It's the opposite way, I think, huh? Cute. All right, and there you have it. Let's push it back and see. How much room we got to walk around in this joint? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. The Admiral is positioning the throne. No, I want it to be facing. No, I don't want it to be. Now, my hatches are down here, so just temporarily I'm going to move this to see if I can push this all the way back. And that clears my hatch. My hatch starts right here. So I'll be able to lift the hatch up and not have to move my furniture at all. And if, when, we, when we're going underway or something, it'll be real easy to lash it down, put a bungee around it, good to go. It's comfy too. They're very comfortable. I was, I was really surprised. It's very comfortable. You can leave it like that, it's okay. Princess, come on, girl. Come on See? up here. And then you can just move your little thing and go 
there right there. So then we got. So let's go cruising. It's too cold. It's hey, you ready to go? You ready to go cruising? You ready to go? The Bahamas, the Florida Keys, all of Florida. You say you got the salt cockeye. Okay. I gotta bring that in the camper. All right, we'll have a sit down. Let's do a closing here. Well, I thought you could sit next to me. Okay, then. Come on over by the captain, Admiral. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, well, we finally got done. As you can see, it's done. No blood, no black eyes. Just about it. <laughs> but anyway, very comfortable. Again, it is. if you uh, like the video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Please comment down below. We're happy to help you if we can on assembling this. Just uh, make some comments down below. I hope this video helped you with this. And uh, man, let's get ready to go cruising. And we weren't sponsored by them or anything like that right. either. We just we, we just think it's really kind of neat the way the furniture is. And we've seen a lot of people on YouTube and stuff, or some of these sites that you know go on there and they have all of it on there. So we decided that we buy it and see what it looks like. And I'm really happy with it. Yep, yeah, we paid full price. But uh, man, we we were looking all over the place to try to find something in this space that would work. And, and that's comfortable, and it really is comfortable. Yep. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and just remember, stop the madness. Start your adventure. Someday's here. Bye, y'all. Bye.